You're reading me. Mm -hmm. I think I could function better mm -hmm. if I didn't have these headaches. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's mm -hmm. a lot of effort to function well sure. with them. Sure. Yeah. Right. Uh, and the final thing is, with all the medications you take, do you know if you're having any side effects from any of those? Do you, um, know, do you know what to look for? You know, not that I know of, and I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. know what to, mm -hmm. to look for, mm -hmm. but that was one of my concerns. It just seems like I'm taking so that much a lot. Yeah. that that just can't be healthy for yeah. me. A couple of things, just so I know, and then and, and you would learn something, perhaps. That a lot of Tylenol... That dose is probably below the worrisome level, but a lot of Tylenol in some people can cause some liver problems. Mm. Uh, and you would know that because you might turn yellow or lose your appetite or lose weight, or, but it doesn't sound like you've experienced any of those things, no. huh? And then that much of the pain medication, more common things, makes your stomach not happy, mm -hmm. heating, heartburn, mm. um, stomach aches. Mm. Do you get any much of that? No, I get the heartburn, but I, I've been attributing that just to like really spicy food. Do you think the heartburn's been worse since you've been on all that Advil? Hmm. I'm not sure. Not sure. Yeah. Uh, fluid retention sometimes happens too. Uh -huh. You know, the end of the day you might know your legs are swollen. Uh -huh. Whereas, uh, any, yeah. anything like that? Do you ever notice? Well, that? I've actually noticed sometimes I take, when I wear socks, I take my socks off and mm -hmm. I have a little indentation around where really? the top of my sock is. So you're not used to seeing that? No. And when do you think that came into the picture? Well, now that you mentioned it, I, I don't think I had that before the mm -hmm. accident. Oh, really? I didn't notice it. Yeah. So maybe that is one of the side effects. Could be, yeah. Uh, well, we'll have to be sure and check that out, okay. too, because it can affect your kidneys in a way that can do that, but it also can make it keep fluid even if your kidneys are healthy, mm -hmm. so we'll have to kind of consider okay. that, too. Uh, they probably would be the main things to think about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to get you to gown up, and we're going to take a look at things. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. All righty. Thank you. All right, sir. Did we forget anything? Anything else you want to tell me? Um, no, not that I can think of. Okay, we covered yeah, it all. I think we got more okay, than pretty much I thought. Good. Yeah. yeah. Well, now I'm going to do a complete exam. Okay. Have any kind of thyroid problems that you know? Not that I know. No. Okay. And then turn your head a little bit to the side because I want to look at the veins in your neck. There's a good one. And then take a good deep breath. Does that worry you doing all this stuff? Does it worry me? Yeah. I, I wonder why you do it, but it doesn't worry me. Well, the veins in the neck tell us a lot about the pressure in the heart. Uh -huh. So normally when somebody's lying down and you see a vein, if they breathe in, they should be able to empty that vein. I see. If the pressures were too high in your heart, it wouldn't let it do that. Did mine empty? Uh, nicely. Good. Yep. Now I'm just feeling for your heart's activity here. Seems nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. Good. All right, sir, can I get you to sit up now for a minute? There's a few more things I want to check. Just want to listen to your heart again, so if you just breathe normally. All right, sir, one more thing. There's, I want to listen to your lungs one more time, but I'm going to make you do some talking. Okay. So the first time, I want you to just whisper the word E. Okay. All right? And I'm going to listen every time I put my stethoscope on your chest. So. Okay. E. E. Good. E. 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 Good. E. E. Very good. Then the other thing, I'm going to go around the other side of the table. Because I want to actually feel how the sound from your voice comes through to your back. We call it tactile fremitus. Okay. More doctor terms. Yeah. 
All right, so, so say 99. 99, 99, 99, 99. Good, okay, all righty. Okay, sir, good. Now I'm glad you get your lie back down once again. All right, so now I want to examine your abdomen. I'm going to listen first. Okay. And I'm going to listen to where your arteries, big arteries are. Okay. Sounds nice and quiet like it should. Sure. All right, sir. So they're a little bit ticklish, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, sir. So now just let yourself be kind of at ease there. There you go. That's now you now you can. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. We're getting there a little bit, huh? Yeah. All right, sir. Now, when you get the urge, I need you to take a good deep breath. There you go. Once again. Good. Excellent. Okay. So your liver is about 8, 10 centimeters in height. That's pretty healthy. Can't even feel your spleen, which is the way it's supposed to be. Right. So good appetite and heartburn once in a while, but otherwise you don't experience any abdominal discomfort then, huh? Gotcha. All right, so all right, that looks pretty good there too. And cough for me for a second. <coughs> Sometimes people with larger belly buttons get hernias, but you, have you ever had any kind of bulging in there? No. Nothing like that. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm going to get you to sit up again. Okay. And swing your feet over the side of the table. Okay. Okay. Now I just want to check one more thing. Any soreness in there? No. Does that hurt? No. How about that side on that side? No. Nothing at all, huh? No. Okay. Good. That's called your C costovertebral angle. It's where the kidneys sit. Mm. Well, I always like to see if the kidneys are hypersensitive, which mm -hmm. is um, pretty good. All right, sir. Good. Now, a few more things I want to do. <clears throat> First thing is, um, I want to just get a look at your hands here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So this is the area, that, this is the base of the thumb that you're mm -hmm. talking about. Yes. Huh? Gotcha. And your mom's got arthritis, but mostly in her hands, huh? Yes. <clears throat> Yours look pretty healthy. Is this sore? Is this actually tender? Uh, it's a little tender right, uh -huh. right in there. Just a little bit yeah, right in there, huh? How about the wrists? Any soreness in there? No. no. Mm -hmm. Elbow? No. Inside or outside? No. These two spots don't hurt? Mm -mm. And let your arms be just kind of relaxed. This is the roof of your shoulder here. This is your spine of your shoulder blades. No soreness in there at all? No. No, nothing like that. How about up here in the biceps tendon? Mm -mm. No soreness in there either no. then, huh? True. Okay. And we checked your function up there before and your hands before too. Now I want to pull this up so we can see your knees. So there's your... So. Feel pretty good, huh? Yeah. Oh, those scars. Yeah. And how old? Two years old, did you say? Two years you old. Gotcha. So, are you tender at all? So uh, it is a little tender, but not not. Which one's tender? Both of them. Um, both of them, but both I don't them think them. for what you're going to do, mm -hmm. it's going to hurt. Right, and you'll let me know that, huh? Yes, I will. Can I get you to just fully extend that and, and flex it? Any trouble doing that? No. And do it with my hand on there if you don't mind. There you go. Back and forth. There you go. And let's do that one too. If you don't mind. That's great. So you had both of these done at the same time then, huh? Correct. Gotcha. Any soreness in these areas right here? No. Nothing there, huh? Now let your arms, your legs be just kind of relaxed there. Ever have any discomfort on the back of your knee? No. I'm sneak my hands in there a little bit. Gotcha. Now, let me dub this foot here, too. Mm -hmm. So move your foot first, toes up, toes down, all the way. 
and then can you turn your toes in, your foot in and out like that? Yeah, good. And do the same thing here. Actually, do them together. Let me see how that looks like. Just pull them up. Up. Yep. Down. In. And then out. Go back and forth like that. Good. Okay. 